Vlogmas Day 5, um, I had to wrap gifts, and I'll show that to you. So, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but these are gifts that I had wrapped up for people. Um, sorry if I do that, I have to do that because camera gets out of focus sometimes and yeah. but yeah that's why vlogmas way 5 didn't get a recording i was wrapping gifts and i still have more gifts to put away um for vlogmas day 6 we were talking about luxury what type of luxury do you define yourself what type of luxury do you define well what do you define luxury as like luxury apartment that's something that everybody get that's something that we all know and know about a luxury car a luxury house Everything that has the word luxury in it, we obviously know that it means expenses, right? Expensive as hell. So, my question to you is, what is your luxury item? What is your luxury... What is the most luxurious thing you have spent your money on? So, like, for me, the most luxurious thing I have spent my money on thus far, and what do I have that's most luxurious, luxurable to me? Luxurable to me is, like... Um, so, I like these book bag purses, right? They're cute, they're easy, they're cute, they're e they're cute, and they can hold more than what a ravaged purse can hold. I also have another form of clutches that are in my, um, wallet, that are in my wallet bin. I also have a, a thing for wallets, like, when I go to Walmart, and I ain't gonna stunt, most of my stuff come from Walmart, or not, like, expensive stores. The, mo the only store I have ever bought something out of was the book bag, one of the book bag purses. It came from Rainbow Shops. That was from one store. But wallets and all that type of stuff, they come from Walmart, if anything. I think my cousin had brought me a wallet from Amazon shopping. And that's cute. Um, so I have a thing for a luxury. I have a thing for wallets. That's one luxury. And a thing for purses and clutches. I actually been I actually made a, um, a pouch purse over the summer. And I remade some more after it. So it's like I have addiction to like little pouch purchase purses. Like I have a black one. I have like this floral print one. I made someone another type of floral print one. And I'm thinking this year I might make me a fur one. But yeah, so I have a thing with that. And then my other, other form of luxury is phone cases. That's my other form of luxury. Um, I spent about $124 on each phone, $124 on phone cases alone this year, not $124 on each phone case. Each phone case cost about $20 to $15 to one only costing about $9. Two I brought from Amazon and then like five or four of them I brought from, four of them I brought from the uh, Metro PCS store and then one I brought from the mall and the dude tried to charge me $30 for a phone case that was simple and it was basic and I was like sir I'm not paying that much for that price the last dude who was working here he only charged me 25 and he's like I'll give it to you for 25 please don't say like 15 or 20 because these are not these are not regular phone cases from any old type of store these were brought in, brought off of Amazon I guess because they bit spend their money buying them off of Amazon.com or some vendor from out of state somewhere they have to they want it, they have to put up the price, to, I guess, to make up for trying to buy them from the vendor out wherever they at and then sell them in the mall. So that's why. Um, as far as it goes from other luxuries, um, the most expensive pair of shoes I have in my room closet cost three hundred and sixteen dollars, and they are Michael Kors booty uh boot sneakers, wedge sneakers. They all black with a little of uh, um gold gold like gold working on it i guess like the shoelaces have gold tips and then the sides where the buckles are they're gold too um i like them boots they're actually comfortable i just wouldn't advise anyone to go walking in them or walking around a block 
If you're going somewhere like a concert, a party, or anything like that, those wet chairs are perfect for you. Um, if another form of luxury, I'm drinking sweet tea, by the way. Um, another form of luxury that would be good to use. Another form of luxury for me, I guess if I ever made like money. Here's another question. If you got $3 million, we're going to narrow it down to $3 million. What would you do with it? Well, I think with me, if I had $3 million, I would go buy my mom a house out of New Jer out of Trenton, somewhere out further in New Jersey. Um, I would go buy, I would move my grandma, my other grandma, grandma from dad's side, grandma from my mom's side in with me, and other family members, you know, because I'm a family person, until I find my own person to be with, and then we'll move out and they can keep the house, and then I'll just find another one. Um, because, I mean, like, the idea of luxury is, the idea of expensive luxury is you're spending much on something that you really don't really need. And it's like, you've been with the people for however long, you might want to just like, when you have luxury, you spend your money on stuff you don't really need. Money, money, you spend your whole money on stuff that you don't need. That's what it's called, expensive luxury. Um, the point I'm trying to make is, if I had $3 million, I would help my family then try to do some charity work and then also try to like help the homeless people because it's good to do good things back and it's like with me I'm a whole family person I would love to have my family live with me in a big old mansion I mean like she had 50 cent mansion everybody have their own little space hold on a second yeah so everybody would have their own little space like 50 cent had a mansion that seated 21 members of the family now, me, I wouldn't have 20, I don't have 21 members in my, well, if you include aunts and uncles from your dad's side, and then maybe some uncles and aunts from your mom's side, I, you'll get about 21 people all together to live in that house. But in that, that, in that type of moment, you don't really think about it because you got $3 million and you're like, well, damn, what do you buy first? And it's like, luxury is expensive as hell, especially in New Jersey. To be the most ratchetest place on, to be the most ratchetest state to live in, and want to charge a thousand dollars to live, and it's like, it's not even worth it. But you might as well go down south somewhere and live lavishly for less. But it's like New Jersey has some homes out here that's not needed to be a thousand dollars. But in real shit, if you live in New Jersey, I think my brother told me you would pay at least a close to a thousand to a million to spend on a mansion alone and that's I think that's the actual truth so in true reality format um I would say I would probably move my family out get them a house somewhere in New Jersey and like they said nowhere is unable to have violence but it's better to move somewhere safer and have a little bit of security um and a gate I don't know but I prefer to move them out have a nice little mansion they have their own space. And then, I guess, like again, I said, when I find somebody, we'll move out. And we'll move somewhere else. Unless they don't mind meeting my mom and being with my mom 24-7. <laughs> Meet my mom all day. But after a while, you want to be, like, truly on your own. Have them moments all the time a little bit. But, on another note of former luxury, um, yes, I would, help the, I would help needy, you know, charity, donations, all that. I wouldn't be unacceptable to that. Um, my other form of luxury would be a nice car, a nice um, a car. So my form of luxury would be like spending. I mean, like maybe getting a nice little truck, SUV or expedition, and or something nice, a little truck for me to drive. I don't know. I like pink. Pink is my favorite color. But for a truck, I'll probably get the truck wrapped in black and then get the inside done like pink or for a mini car like a nice little four door car sorry or a nice four door car that has like a nice color to it I'll probably get that wrapped in blue and then get the inside done in black I don't know but I love I love the idea of just like having a nice pretty car I love pink too, so I probably would get another car to get it pink, and it'd probably be a four-door car. I don't know. I only like four-door cars. I can't stand a two-door car because I wouldn't want nobody just like 
oh, climb behind me and get in the back seat. Nah, you gotta open the door. You can help yourself. I don't want to, like, do all that. It's a border car. I wouldn't have to worry about that. So, technically, in reality, I probably have a black, a blue, and a, a pink car. The black wrap with pink. The black wrap with black and the inside pink. The blue wrap with, uh, the, um, another car, four-door car wrapped in blue and the inside done with black or beige. I don't know, black or beige. I don't know. And then a pink car. Would it be awkward to have a pink car wrapped with the inside of, of white? I don't know how that would work. Nah, we'll never get white seats, never mind. It would either have to be a beige. Yeah, beige car. Be the inside would have to be beige because I wouldn't want nobody. I buy a car, a nice pretty car with white seats and spill shit on it. I'll be hurt like a motherfucker. And I think that's it. If I had to look, yeah, if I had three million dollars, that's it. And then open a boutique. You know the goal is to open a boutique. And then move forward with a, an international base. Open a boutique. Work my way from there. And then go big afterwards. You start small first and before you make your journey into something. And then you start making waves when you get like a little bit of clout. That's how you do it. And I believe if you start out with a boutique first. If you're a designer like me. You start out with a boutique first and you move your way up to international. That's how you do it. You don't know, like start out. Go international. Da 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 da. Hello. <sighs> so yeah. Start out international, start out, you don't want to start out international and then be around everybody and be like, well, they, well, damn, when can I do this, that, and the third and everything like that? You don't want to do that because people, you value people's opinion. When you're a designer, you have to value people's opinion. You have to make sure your work is correct. You also have to make sure your work is not like terrible. Like you don't want to make, you want to make sure it's not easy to rip. You want to make sure it's the right sizes. You want to make sure that it fits everybody. That's why I'm starting to try to triple it. I'm starting to slow moving trials. Like, for right now, I know clothes. Right now, the way I did my last collection, I know the clothes fit. It, some sizes were extremely big. Other sizes were a little bit small. There was a dress that was a little tight, but it, it worked on my best friend Princess. And there were another couple dresses that were... There were another couple outfits that were actually big. On Khadija, they were real big, but she managed to make them work. So the point, and I'm talking about the Magic of the Sunset collection. And for that to be good, I'm trying to play with, I'm trying to make sure sizes are right. And certain parts fit and they hug certain areas appropriately. So that's why you can't just leap forward in the international. You gotta start small first. And that would be, even though that's not luxury, but that's the goal plan for with me and my career and my life goal. And if I have in his love, da 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 da. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys I guess I could give you guys a bit of what I'm talking about in my luxury. So this is what I said when I had great luxury. I love book bag purses. I love this purse. Here's what I meant by luxury. Here are the phone cases. This one. I got this one recently. I got this one yesterday. Um, I got this one Saturday. I brought this one a week ago. And bedazzled it with some rhinestones. I had this one a month ago. I got this one like two months ago. I got this one three months ago. A month ago. And the big pink one I got now. And then, again, like I said, I have another addiction. I have, uh, I love wallets, especially ones that have hold enough credit cards and hold your change and money at the same damn time. So it's perfect for me. Um, this is the one my cousin got me for Christmas, which, by the way, it's coming up quickly. Um, I said I also have an addiction to pouch purses. So here's the one I got from an Amazon giveaway free monthly giveaway and then I made this one and this one funny story about this one um when I was going to Virginia I had to make a pouch purse well I wanted to make a pouch purse to go 
and basically what happened was with this one the reason why it's black also is because when I made it um, I had one already made I had made a black pouch purse before and what happened was the black pouch purse wouldn't zip it was hard to open 20% of the time and when I stand in line it would like I would be like holding up traffic behind me so what had happened was I decided to make a new one and we were going to Virginia on the next day so I had to hurry up and sew bits and pieces of it I got up early in the morning and started sewing started sewing I actually made it down to sewing a whole side but still had to sew and then I managed to sew down a zipper but then the problem was afterwards I had to hand sew the rest of the way so it was like a race against time I was in the car literally hand sewing and that's how this pouch purse came to be. On the inside, it has floral um, design. Can't get it unzipped. Yeah. On the inside, it has floral design print, which is basically this print right here, which was for another collection. And this one is just a basic inside with black and actual lining, pretty much, put it like that. And this is the other one I made during the summer when I was DYing. <laughs> and that's it. Also, I have other bags over here. Again, like I said, bags and purses. The plushy pink one is what my mom brought me for Christmas. It's like a carry on bag or a small travel bag you can take with you when you go on the stage, like only for a couple of days. And then here's another one I got from the Amazon giveaway. There's also a tote in there. And then these are the bags that come with, like, when you get, like, some... This bag? It's like when you get shit from somewhere else and it's like... They give you a bag with it. A complimentary bag. I think this actually comes with a blow-up bed. Because, you know, mine's is a blow-up bed. So, that's where that came from. And yeah. Alright, give it a minute. Can you focus? focus okay guys that is it for six five through six vlogmas thank you for taking this time out with me to let me recap on what happened on vlogmas day five and vlogmas day six sorry it took so long today is vlogmas day 10 so we will do a gameplay video because i do not want to sit here and talk about just anything random so um vlogmas day six the thing um so vlogmas day 10 will be a video gameplay get video gameplay and I'll try to find a game for y'all to when to see me play. But for right now, I'm about to eat my breakfast. Um, today, breakfast is bacon, oatmeal, sweet tea for a drink, and a cinnamon roll. Don't ask me why. I believe I don't know why, but I had it before, so it, it's not that bad. Bad. Might be a little bit too much sugar intake, but unless I make the half as much sugar in the oatmeal as possible. It is brown sugar, so it should be sweet already. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I am Sexy Chocolate 21. This is the morning time, and I'm about to say deuces because I don't know what else I'm about to do. <laughs> but I will give you guys gameplay later. Peace out, my peoples.